go. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, y'all keep going on like this. Damn, and Carly done died. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. So much death in just one fucking episode. I think we should look for your parents. Deaths. Really? Yeah, you need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Get on bus his ass. Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here, and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need. Oh, the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Damn, some of them bust his ass. to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's O'Neill? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. I said O'Neill needs to rest. Guys, can we stop for one minute? can rest all you want once we get out on the water. I'm telling you, he can't keep going like this. Come on, I'll help you. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me! What the hell are we 
was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Everybody, run! Not all. I'll oh, give me a fucking break. Wait, where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go now. I'll be fine. Just go. up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Just get us inside. I don't care how you do it. Maybe you should come up with some ideas then. Us through that. No way we're gonna force that open, not without making a lot of noise at least. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. The shovel is never not useful. What until we find our way into that house first? The wind will be able to bust through that. The wind will be able to bust through that. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right. So, where's the dog? Hey, 
Be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Oh, God, the smell. Okay, that is not cool. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. No good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, what do you see in there? <laughs> Ta-da! Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. 
You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Krista and Omi need anything, okay? Okay. Checking the downstairs. Jesus! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Not exactly my style. That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, just some dog food. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. And now jump scares, bro. Fuck me. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Looks like 
duck, don't he? <laughs> it's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Before it was your own son. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. You can do this, Kenny. You need to do this. I know. I just... Oh, God. Here. This'll make it clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. I know that you can. I couldn't even help my own boy. That was your own flesh and blood. No father could have done that. But you can help this boy. Do what's right for him. Send him on his way. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. from us, you hear? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. 
Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kimmy? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only gonna get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. We can't right now. But you promised we'd go find them when we got here. On the train, you promised. I know I did, Sweet Pea. I haven't forgotten. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. We all need to stick together as a group. Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? I'm worried about Omid. He's in bad shape. I need you to stay here. Keep an eye on him. He's got Krista for that. If it comes down to it, I can't rely on Krista to do what has to be done. Not with Clementine in the same house. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can count on me. Good. Your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's 
you've got to be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. Better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Should probably stick close to Kenny. It's too dangerous out here. missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Must have been a hell of a wreck. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the water line, but someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate 
worse than death. salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. What the hell? Get down! Get down! Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. from Crawford. Have you been following us? Following you? Kenny, no, it's not our guy! you people. I ask you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> you guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us. Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. 
I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Is that you in our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... Holy shit, who's here? Kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave. Along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. What do you know all this? Who's he? And a new Who is here, bro? Who? Tell me. Like Who? Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here. Find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped Holy them for parts. Shit. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place me. is picked clean. God okay. damn it! Who the fuck, fuck. is me, bro? Hey, moron. Who? You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just great. Ricky. Oh, shit, Ricky. You gonna make him stay for the rest of the episode? Yes or no? Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Yes. You're just gonna let her go? Hey! You can't just leave us here! Really? Watch! No! Please! Please don't leave us! Come on, make it fast. Hurry up, bro. Hey, Ricky, watch the shit to the end of the episode. Oh, Want me to stream me. another come after on, this come one? On, hurry.
that bitch got clapped. <laughs> what a dumbass bitch. Just, huh? Step on her head. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. down here. It's a drainage pipe. Okay. Go down here. Oh, oh. Way out. There's no way I can take on all of those things by myself. Holy shit. Oh, I so did not see this shit coming. This dumbass and complain with water, bro. Uh huh? What's this? Seems loose. Oh. Shit. Better. Won't go anymore in that direction. Hey, what this nigga still doing here, bro? Imagine how much fucking noise that shit made. Turn this shit to the right. Wait, wait, wait. To the left, bro. Don't turn me more in that direction. Oh, okay. Alright. I'll turn this hole this way then. Shice. To the left, to the left, to the right, to the right, now kick and kick, now walk it by yourself. You're an idiot, bro. <laughs> hmm. 
Nah, walk in by yourself. Nah, walk in. <laughs> Hi, I'm gonna get killed. Alright, we're gonna execute this. <gasps> oh my god. Chuck. He must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. Chuck. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Chuck died, bro. I hope you don't mind if I just uh, give you a little knife to the face. Oh my god! This bitch scared me, bro. Holy shit, holy shit. No, no, don't you! God damn it. I don't fuck myself over, bro. Oh my god, bro. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't mean to press the trigger, bro. <laughs> oh my god, it's because I was like, I was like, I'm just gonna do this, you know, whatever. Get rid of this, but no. Why did you shoot my. I swear to God, bro, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Don't worry, I should pick that up on my own. Oh, I am so fucked, bro. Open with the fucking thing, bro. Here we go, nigga. Pick that shit open, my G. Gotta be kidding me, bro. I'm dead, bro. I didn't mean to shoot. Yeah, I'm done, bro. Uh, I don't care. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna let them kill me. But you niggas can't catch me. Ha ha ha, nigga. Okay. In what world did I not run around then? Tell me, bro. Oh my god, bro. Do that carefully. There you go. Tell me that's all I needed to do, nigga. Say goodbye. Fucking idiots are still focused on the water. The hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Holy shit. Wonder if someone's living down here. I mean, look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Fuck is you? Who are you? 
I could ask you the same question. You barged in on us. And, and I'm the one holding the gun. So I'll ask you again. Who are you? Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there. How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. I told you he's lying. He is one of them. Kill him before he kills us. Oh, you... Bro. Who the fuck is you? These niggas. <laughs> who are you? Yeah, who the fuck is this? It's like when a nigga jump, like, joins our party. I could ask you the same question. You barged in on us. And, and I'm the one holding the gun. And so then... I'll ask you again. Who are you? Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there. How was it? As bad as here. I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them. And I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. Shit. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No, I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission, but that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? My group and I were up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Vern, you're not just gonna let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not gonna be able to get out of here on your own, but we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care. And I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? If you've got sick people here, maybe I can help. Our group has medical supplies. What kind of medical supplies? I don't know. All kinds. I'm sure there's something you could use. 
We'd be happy to trade some for a guide back to where we're staying. Vern, we need medicine. Joyce is in a lot of pain. I can't bear to see her like this. Maybe it's worth the risk. Maybe so. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be all right. What a bitch, huh? <laughs> Bro, I, I accidentally picked lie. I hope she die and eat all you niggas. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? What were you doing? Just looking. Figured you might have something you want to donate as a thank you for getting your friends back safely. I think you have something that belongs to me. Thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? I'll need to see those medical supplies. What medical supplies? <laughs> ah, shit. My bad, G. Uh, sorry, Doc. Had to get you on board somehow. Well... You just get better and better, don't you? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, oh, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Where's she at? Where's she at? We're gonna go in here, nigga. Who's in Clementine, here? you in here? Where is she? Oh, you know he dead. Clem's drawings. But where is she? Clem, you in here? Clementine? Doesn't Omid survive, Ricky? I'll have time to rest later. Hehehe. <laughs> I think. Clementine, you here? Yes, he does. Clem? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know. Just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? 
Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? <laughs> she said redneck friend and college kid. Why are you such a bitch, Jane? Bitch. Slam that door. Clem? Ooh, Clementine? Clementine! I never please. liked the college kid. Nobody does. He looks like PewDiePie. Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since... What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get PDFT like this? Before hey failing. man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Clementine, where are you? Clementine? Clementine! Door's covered in mud. Don't think anyone came in from there. Be having a damn heart attack, bro. Where is she? Oh my gosh. What happened to this bitch? What were you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! Psycho Gliad. Did someone say blat? This was here the whole time? I know, right? Get that boat into the water. Oh. 
Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd <laughs> rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. No, don't worry. We have a good plan and good people. We'll be in and out before they even know we're there. You trust me, don't you? Yeah. That's my girl. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, Sweet Pea. Why not? Because they're good people, and Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. I don't think they would have stayed in a place like that. How do you know they're good if you've never met them? Well, they raised you, didn't they? Can't I come with you? No. I'm sorry.
Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. A boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, only Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus you have a job to do. An important job. I need you to stay here and watch over the house. Watch over Omid. What should I do if something happens while you're gone? Here, I want you to take this. You remember how to use it, don't you? It's just like I showed you. I remember. So if anyone tries to get inside the house that isn't one of us, or if something does happen to Omid... I know what to do. Let's get you inside. Let's get this over with. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? inside here get inside fast
You think they saw us? I don't think so. I think we're good, for now at least. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone in Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Hey, Ricky. What? Why is there so many fucking walkers, bro? Did everybody die? Figures. Most of them. This room is some kind of command center. How did they die? Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Do you not remember playing the game? I didn't Here. play it. Just give me a sec. where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. On mobile. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, just tell me, bitch. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. They got you surrounded and got See if killed. You can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck.
Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. But what am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Can't open it without the combination. Out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Auto shot must be down this way. This is the place I'm looking for. Climbing the fence isn't an option.
Ricky Ware. You have to find whatever is her name. Where the fuck is this hole? Go in the lethal and look up. Little shed. Ha, ah, you're cute, bro. I mean, you're good, bro. Oh, this thing is about to bust his ass, bro. Oh, okay, never mind. I see that. Now. Damn, it's like Resident Evil, bro. Raccoon City. Damn, it's jammed tight. Too close. Leave him. He's mine. What were you doing up there? You got it. One more. <sighs> He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. How do you fit it in a backpack? Come on. You don't fit it in your backpack, Ricky. You, you shove it up your ass. That's how they get it. Oh shit! Hold up. Oh, this is gonna be funny. Watch, Ricky. He's gonna he's gonna look through the thing.
Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Locked. No way in. No power. I can't reach it up there. I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Don't press the start boom button, bitch. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. I did it. Shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. It's off. What was that? What the fuck? Got that one off! Forgot I had to undo those. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, That's follow a heavy me. Heavy-ass battery, bro. This bitch said I carry it. She got a car Move battery in her backpack. Okay, buddy. Excuse me, WTF. Oh, what's with this bitch, bro? Hey, lift me up. I had a, I had a fucking kiss her in it. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. What are you, chicken? Jump. A lacron. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he fell on his dick, bro. <laughs> oh no. Fucking Lara Croft. <laughs> okay, so now we're on a roof. 
Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. <laughs> On. What are you, chicken? Jump! It looks like I don't know, bro. What I don't even know me? what the fuck that was, to be honest with you. That you it. Like, I tried to scroll to catch her fucking hat. Like, yeah, there you go, there you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, bro. That shit's funny. Ah Come shit. On. Later. Something I gotta do for hey. you. Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Hey Ricky, if you're still watching my stream, okay. Hey, you guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Is you gonna suck my dick? You know what I'm saying? Seb, just tell me if you want to give me a lick, bro. All right. Little help. Oh. Little help here. All right. Get out of here, bitch. Fuck. The doors won't close all the way. Lee, do something. Bitch. We got. Break the door with something. Eh. Dumbass Damn well oh wait, it's glass. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. It's a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. How'd you guys make out? We got the fuel. Awesome. Good job, guys. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Hey, wanna see my weenie? How are you guys doing with that door? No, Slower I don't than wanna... I'd like. I don't don't worry, we'll get it you. open. I think. 
Hey, bro, who wants to see my weenie? Hey, Seb. Do you? Bree? No offense, but I'm not really looking for conversation. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just don't particularly like you. If this is about Verna, I did what I had to do to get do you him to help my weenie? I was only looking out for my people. And I'm looking out for mine. That's the only reason I'm here. So, if there's nothing else... Hey, Seb, follow my fucking, my meme page, bro. I know, bitch, I said follow it. Ricky, tell me where to go. Before I lick you. What do you need to do? I don't know, nigga. That's why I just asked you. <laughs> Who? <laughs> you know what I did, Seb? I sent a post from a uh, fucking um, Genesis to Greg. I didn't need to use a bathroom anyway. You niggas looking at, bro? Hey, hey, I think I'm gonna exit to playground, bro. <laughs> uh -huh, Walk nigga, around the place and find a door. I smoke crack. I got ten dollars. Me, me in the back. Am I the only one that thinks that glass you know? starts cracking? Yo, I heard that shit. Where did you niggas come from, bro? Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. I'm not gonna shoot these niggas, bro. What the fuck? Yeah. Look, Ricky, you wanna see something? Look, this nigga, this nigga's like, huh? There you go. Culitos y pendejitos negritos. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I'll have to take time to rest later. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Find a video camera. 
Definitely, Ricky. I definitely keep one on just in case I have, you know, sex. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Watch it be in here, Ricky. Y'all already but. checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Okay, bitch. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it, and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. I have to go find him? Bro, I just... <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, all right, I'm gonna start part two right now, and then I'm gonna end the stream. So peace out, Ricky, bitch.